Top Inventions. The behind the scenes tales of hit products and creations from Japan. This is Japan's Top Inventions. This time, the story behind the creation of Japan's electronic bidet toilets. Enter many restrooms in Japan, and you'll find a panel like this on the wall. Give this button a push, and a nozzle extends, releasing a spray of warm water. This high-tech Japanese bidet helps clean your backside after you use the toilet. Installed in some 80% of Japanese households, this product sparked what's been called a toilet revolution. Just how well does this invention work? Watch it remove this blue paint from a piece of tile. Nice and clean. In 2017, a record setting 28 million tourists visited Japan, awaiting them at the terminal, this restroom. How do they feel about Japan's high-tech toilets? Yeah, Amazing. Awesome. Amazing. <laughs> the best thing in the world. Yeah. We don't have it. Uh, surprised, but happy <laughs> at the same time, yes. <laughs> yeah. Japan's bidet toilets are gaining fans around the world. This time, we discover the surprising inspirations behind this top invention. Yeah. Kita Kyushu, West Japan, the home of a museum dedicated to restroom-related products. Found on display here is none other than this electronic bidet toilet made in 1980. It's been recognized as an official piece of mechanical engineering heritage by the Japan Society of Mechanical Engineers. This one machine was the start of the toilet revolution. This toilet tale begins in the 1960s. Until then, this was the standard Japanese toilet made to be used from a squatting position. In the past, Japanese toilets were simple holes sawed in planks of wood. Those ancient toilets were the model for the later porcelain version. In the 1960s, Japanese-style toilets began to make way for Western ones. Western toilets didn't require tearing up the floor to install, a factor that led to their quick adoption. Western ones were easier to install. A flat surface in a small hole and you were good to go. Japanese ones required a large hole, so installing them was tough. The Western toilet boom was especially good for this Kita Kyushu toilet manufacturer. In 1977, sales of Western toilets surpassed Japanese ones and kept on rising. But shortly thereafter, recession hit Japan. Construction of new homes fell sharply, and so too fell the sales of Western toilets. It was a crisis for the manufacturer. The company's young engineers went to work to cook up a new hit product that could save the company. For reference, they turned to a toilet imported from America that had been created for medical use. Patients unable to use toilet paper 
could use this seat to clean themselves, but the temperature of the water and direction of the spray could not be controlled. Toshifumi Shigematsu was a member of the design team. He shares a memory of his father, who suffered from hemorrhoids. My father was a researcher of Japanese history. At home, he would write papers, read historical texts. He spent many hours sitting down. From a young age, I remember seeing him taking a basin into the restroom to wash his backside after using the toilet. I thought if we could successfully create a bidet toilet, it would help my father not to mention people all over suffering from hemorrhoids. That thought helped motivate me. Hemorrhoids, swollen veins that cause intense pain and even bleeding. At the time, it was said this condition, sometimes called the enemy of the office worker, affected one out of every three Japanese people. Inventions. December 1978, development of the electronic bidet toilet begins. The team's first goal, discover the ideal water temperature for cleaning the posterior. To gather data, the engineers offer up their own bottoms for a series of tests. Hiroshi Tanaka, a member of the development team, he gladly took part in the experiments, pulling down his pants and sitting down for a wash. The temperature was methodically raised 0.1 degrees at a time. Until... Again. Tanaka leapt from the seat while the hot water continued to run. But through repeated tests, he began to realize something. While we were running the experiments, and I used the bidet over and over again, something unusual happened. The more I used it, the better I felt. Midway through, I realized, wow, washing your backside like this is a really great thing. Taking turns, the team kept at the tests for 16 hours a day. Inspired by their hard work, one by one, more employees showed up to add their own rear ends to the effort. After four months, data had been collected from 300 men and women. The result, the ideal temperature for the bidet was pegged at 38 degrees Celsius. The next step was devising a system to keep the water at that ideal 38 degree temperature. Core team member Shigematsu got to work. He turned to microchips, which at the time had started to be used in computers. He thought they could be used to bring the water to the right temperature and keep it there. He made his way to a home appliance manufacturer, but was met with a chilly reception. With electronic bidet toilets, the scariest thing is short circuits. If the electric components become corroded, you could have a short circuit, and that could put the user in serious danger of electric shock. Shigematsu was at an impasse, but found inspiration from an unexpected source. On his way to work one day, he stopped at an intersection. His eye fell on the light as it turned green. The realization hit. These electronic lights worked without a hitch, even on rainy days. Street lights are tough. They work even in moisture, wind, and whatever. 
Right when I looked at the light, I thought, this might be it. We could use the same technology in our toilet. Shigematsu consulted with a street light manufacturer. He discovered that they used a special resin coating on their microchips. Shigematsu used those same resin coated chips, attaching them to his circuit board. The board was then sealed with a plastic cover and the temperature regulating system was complete. Top Inventions Another challenge was figuring out a way for the stream of water to accurately hit its target. Charged with this difficult task was Masami Iida. He recalls the process of trial and error. Man versus woman, tall versus short, people come in all shapes and sizes. And that means when they use the toilet, the target is never in the same place, so to speak. The positioning is different. One day, during his commute, something caught Iida's eye. Out of a car stopped on the road emerged a long, straight radio antenna. On the toilet the manufacturer had imported from America, the bidet was fixed in place. But Ida reasoned, if it could move like an antenna, it could adjust to better target the bottom. He designed a nozzle that extended directly from the toilet seat. This brought it closer to the backside for better accuracy. Furthermore, he discovered that angling the nozzle at 43 degrees prevented the water from pouring back onto the device, which helped keep it sanitary. After two years of work, the electronic bidet toilet was complete. On sale since 1980, over 40 million units of this top invention have been shipped to date. Japan's electronic bidet toilets are now on sale in countries and regions around the world, including the US, China, and Europe. And in Japan, the high-tech innovations continue. This one is fitted with a sensor which automatically opens the lid when someone approaches. Before use, this toilet fills its bowl with a special foam. This foam helps prevent urine from splashing back, protecting the cleanliness of the toilet and entire restroom. Top inventions. The bidet function is also evolving. Check out the stream of water from this advanced nozzle. Look closely and you'll see the water traveling in individual pulses. This eco-friendly feature reduces the amount of water used. After the large pulses of water come speedy smaller ones. This provides the same clean feeling while using 60% less water. He was so happy. He said, you made something really great. I had never been much of a dutiful son, but I was finally able to do something good for my father.